Hello, in this session we're going to be looking at how to create breakout rooms in Zoom. By the end of this session you'll be able to create breakout rooms in Zoom, manage options for breakout rooms, assign participants to rooms and broadcast messages to breakout rooms. Breakout rooms are sessions that are split off from the main Zoom meeting. They allow the participants to meet in smaller groups and are completely isolated in terms of audio and video from the main session. Breakout rooms can be used for collaborations, discussions and to brainstorm ideas. If you have a large class, breaking students up into smaller groups helps build connection between students and ensures that everyone in the group has a voice. So to get to the breakout rooms once you're in your Zoom room, it's an option here at the bottom of the screen. So when you click that, this is when you can decide how many breakout rooms you need based on how many students you have in your session. So once you've decided how many rooms you want, then you can decide whether you want Zoom to assign students automatically to the rooms, whether you want to assign them manually, or whether you want participants to choose their own rooms. For the sake of this video, we're just going to create two breakout rooms. Once you've decided, you say create, and then here you have an option that says now you can rename the rooms. So if they have a specific purpose where students have to discuss a specific topic, you can rename them, you can delete them. From this um, view here, you can also add a room. And this is where you decide when it's time to open the rooms that you can open them. So once you've created the number of rooms, you've decided how you want to, um, how you want the students to be assigned, then you have some additional options here. And your additional options are, you can allow participants to choose a room. You can allow participants to return to the main session. You can automatically move all assigned participants into breakout rooms. So that means then that once the breakout rooms are opened, then participants are sent to the breakout room rather than having to join with a button. Um, you can set how long you want the breakout rooms to be open for so they can close automatically after whatever time you set here. You can be notified when the time is up and then you can give them a countdown of your choice of how long they have after the breakout room has been closed. Once breakout rooms have been started, you get the message that all participants have been invited to join the breakout rooms. You as the host and the co-host can join any room that's been opened. Once you're here in the list of breakout rooms, you can decide to broadcast a message. So I can broadcast a message that says wrapping up in three minutes. And then when I broadcast it, this message will be sent to each room um, as a note. So this is what it looks like once a message has been broadcast. So there's a message, to, uh, a message from me to everyone wrapping up in three minutes. And this just pops up in the room, in the breakout room, so students can see that message. But you can also broadcast messages from within breakout rooms as the host. So I can go into breakout room one, it says now I'm in a breakout room. If I click the breakout rooms, this is from my screen as the host, I can also broadcast a message from a room. So if I'm in a room and I and I look at the time and I can't leave the room and I want to send a message, I can send a message to all the rooms saying the same thing as I said before, wrapping up in three minutes and that will go out to all the rooms. So once I've joined this room, um, I can do that. I can help students. I can be called into a room. So if students need help, when they're in their breakout rooms, one of their options down here is to ask for help. And I'll show you what that looks like. So as a participant in a breakout room, they have this option here to ask for help. And then when they ask for help, you'll get a message and you'll say, would you like to join this breakout room? And then you can go to that breakout room and help students when they need. So there's some very helpful features using Zoom rooms. And so today we looked at how to create breakout rooms 
We looked at how to manage some options for breakout rooms and how to assign participants to them and how to broadcast messages to breakout rooms. Additionally, we looked at the asking for help button that students have when they're in their breakout rooms so that they can ask you to join them. So thank you for joining me for this session.